Today we'll be showing you how to get started with SQL Server on SUSE Linux Enterprise 12. We'll first start with server registration, installation of SQL Server, installation of SQL Server tools, then we'll load some sample data to test it all out. So the first thing we'll need to do is register our server. If you're running this on a public cloud provider such as AWS, Azure, or GCP, and you're using one of the on-demand or pay-as-go images, then you can skip this step. Otherwise, if you're using one of the bring your own subscription, or if you're running this on-prem, then you'll need to first register your server. So we'll do that with SUSE Connect. Just copy my registration code here. It's activating. Okay, it looks like it registered. Just double check. Okay, looks like it's activated. Now that the server is registered, we can add Microsoft's package signing key. Okay, so this key will allow us to verify packages that we download from Microsoft's repo. Next, let's add the repo. This refresh parameter ref automatically refreshes the repo. This check parameter verifies the, the URL that we're adding. Okay, repo is added. So with the repo added now, we can install the SQL Server package. There's no confirm parameter allows us to do a install without a prompt. All right, so I've kicked off the installation. This might take a couple minutes. Okay, it looks like it's done installing. Okay, so now that we've installed the SQL Server package, we can add the bin path to our path so we don't have to type the full path each time we want to configure it. Path equals add this to our bash RC and source it. Okay, so now it's in our path. Okay, looks like it's finished configuring now. So now that SQL Server is running, we can test to make sure that it's actually listening on, on the port. We can do that with netcat. Oh, looks like it's already installed. So we can test this on 1433, the default port. Okay, so it looks like it's it's a sling and it's live. Okay, so now let's install SQL Server tools. First need to add the repo, like we did the SQL Server package. Okay, so that's added. Now let's install it.
Okay, looks like that's done. We can add this to our bin path as well. Append to our bash RC again. Source it. Okay, so it looks like the tools are here. Now that we have SQL command installed, we can test it out. S designates the server or host name, U is for the user. Okay, now that we're connected, we can try running a query. This will list the databases. All right, great. So we can talk about systemd, which is a systems and service manager for Linux. And we can in interact with systemd for managing services like SQL Server. So we can use the status with system control CLI command. and the status of command to check the status. Looks like it's running right now. We can use this to restart. Looks like it started back up. You can also use this to stop. And it stops. Let's start it back up. And it's back up. So now let's load our SQL Server instance with some sample data. Microsoft has provided some sample data on GitHub that you can use to seed your database with some sample data. Uh, I have a link here to the uh, wide world importer sample database. We can use curl to download that. So now that we have the sample data downloaded, we can load it with SQL command again uh, with the restore database query. And we also have to change the paths here um, because the source machine was using a different path for these the database and transaction log and memory data files. And here we're changing this to varopt uh, ms sql slash data. Okay, it looks like the restore has finished. So now we can use SQL command again to query our database. So this selects the 10 tables, table names from the wide world and borders database. Okay, looks like it worked. Okay, so this concludes this video of getting started with SQL Server on SUSE Enterprise Linux 12.